She's up to her Coakley is in event planning. Did you invite Captain Min? <laughs> yes. Uh, what about timing? I'm not sure. She's been busy researching with Lady June. Biomechatronics, alternative energies, fascinating tech. Commander! Glad you made it. You look... exhausted. So, what's this all about? Wait, are you getting engaged, Rama? Yeah. Surprise! I'm getting married to that sushi roll. But you don't like sushi. Is that heart-shaped? You should be a detective. Now, please, eat. I sure don't want it. <clears throat> There's some folks I wish were here, but people are busy. Cleaning up, traveling, running a government agency. I get it. of detective agency. Oh, it's Timey. I'm putting you on broadcast. I'm at Rama's party with the commander and Rama. Oh, right, right. Sorry I couldn't make it. So, listen to this. Yao told June that the Jade Brotherhood discovered some super high-powered jade deep in a mine. But... Yao told me Chomu said something strange is going on. Aggressive creatures missing Brotherhood... Sounds like... An opportunity! Yeah, I was gonna say, problem, but... It is a problem. A disturbing one. I'm going to check it out. Who are you talking to? Is that Gorik? Okay, talk to you later, Tiny. This is it! We're doing this! The Friends Detectives... Wait, wait. You can't just decide you're a detective agency. This is Kantha. There's paperwork. I filed the application weeks ago. Copies are on the table. Look! Ministry of Investigatory Services hereby grants the Friends Detective Agency a duly recognized partnership. But, but, but nobody's hired us to do anything. Who paid us? And that name is terrible. We can discuss the name later. More importantly, we need to build a reputation. Besides, if there's a new power source, shouldn't we know about it? Or do you think we can trust the Brotherhood to do the right thing? And what if Yao gets into trouble? We can help! Right, Commander? <sighs> You're not wrong. Think of the exposure! I can lead the investigation, with your input, of course. We'll have cases pouring in in no time! <sighs> well, this party is a complete bust. Let's head to the mine. Take some food with you. It's paid for.
That looks valuable. I don't know. Part of me thinks I should just take a vacation. Other part of me thinks I'd just get bored. So, pfft, why not? Uh, well, Marjorie vouches for him, and he's a smart guy. Thank you, Rama. I'm certain we'll... But book smarts aren't everything. Guess we're gonna find out if I can coach him up. I will say this. He's persistent. Resourceful. Ambitious. Though I get the impression they've got a lot going on. Not so sure about the company they keep. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I don't mean you. Don't trust them one bit. Especially Chel Mu. He only joined the fight when it meant survival for him and his own. June keeps her quite busy, and she wouldn't have it any other way. Though I do wish she would take more breaks. Just waiting on the actual license, then we'll officially be in business. I do sense some reluctance on Rama's part. <coughs> Terrible idea. <clears throat> but I'm convinced that once we begin our investigation, he'll come around. Marjorie hasn't responded to my daily updates. I believe she has other priorities at the moment, understandably. I'll contact Ivan if we have need of a ship or a cat sitter. But Rama and I can handle things for the foreseeable future. I wouldn't say that, necessarily. This is an agency comprised of friends. But I've worked alongside a number of impressive leaders, yourself included. And, well, I'd like to try my hand at it. Yes, though he's been a bit distracted. Uh-huh. Hey, is she here yet? This investigation should provide an opportunity for Rama to focus, and for me to observe and learn. Ah, yes, a special order requested it be just so. Exquisite work by our chef. Though the gentleman refused to taste it. People feast when they're happy, gorge themselves when they're sad. When life seems unpredictable, they eat their fears. We're extremely busy these days. The talkative one arrived a short time ago. The handsome one has been here for some time. Seems a bit nervous. Based. Uh, Detective, are you trained in mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation? You know you can just call me Rama, since I guess we're both detectives now. Thank you, det Rama? I don't have a surname or honorific, per se, but even if I did, you could still call me Gorik. Ah, thanks. Is he... He has a pulse, but it's weak. Any sign of Yao? Or anyone? No. But we haven't been here long. Besides this guy, the place is a ghost town. Ah! Ah! What if that's Yao? We need to investigate. You two, stay here and tend to him. I'll take a look. Stay back! What the hell is wrong with you? Me? What's wrong with you? Hit the on switch! Nice timing. Thanks for the 
exist. This is Finn. I programmed him to be a fast learner, but I guess he adopted too much of Cholmu's management style. We told Cholmu positive reinforcement. <sighs> Lasted about 15 minutes. Then he went back to his usual abrasive self. I heard things were going off the rails out here. Thought I'd drop by, make sure everyone's okay. Really? What have you heard? Uh, some of the crew are MIA. Not sure if they're walking off the job and sticking it to Chilmu, or something worse. My team's still here. But a guy locked himself in a room, yelling like he was possessed. Or, I don't know, maybe stressed out. And the animals are acting up. I know, it sounds stupid. I thought the veterans were making it up to scare the newbies. Chilmu did say the wildlife out here is spawned from Shiro himself. Then he's told you more than he's told us. I bet if you ask around the camp, you'll hear more. Wahoo! Seen? Good luck seeing anything down in that pit. The air's thick as soup and barely breathable. I already have asthma. If I wind up with more breathing problems, Chilmu's gonna pay. Damn right I have. Even Jindo hates it. Yesterday he snapped at me, then ran off. He's usually such a good boy. Never so much as growled at me before. If you're nosing around here anyway, could you look for him? He's got me worried. Strange? 
How about the fact that we're all taking orders from Chul Mu? Why that guy's in charge, I will never know. I haven't seen anything, per se, but I swear I heard something. A voice from the dark, whispering. When I turned around, no one was there. You mind your own damn business. Ugh, nosy snoop. Well, the vibes of this place are all wrong. I can't put my finger on it, but there's something foul down here with us. I can feel it. Nah, what now? One of my crew said a guy had a meltdown in the lower mine. Started shouting at everyone. Totally incoherent. Even locked himself in a supply room. He had a meeting with Chol Mu earlier that day. Must have been a rough one. to know you minsec or something Some stuff. Stuff you wouldn't believe. Crazy stuff. Like this one lady started talking backward. Out of nowhere. Strangest thing I've ever heard. But it gets weirder. 
saw this kappa. Cute little thing. Ran over and, uh, <laughs> bit this guy's head clean off. Like a snack. And then, it shot laser beams from its beady little eyes. I swear. Watch yourself out there. <laughs> Not sure about Ouch unusual, done. but my team's captain is MIA. Just disappeared after one of our night shifts. Between us, I bet she walked off the job. Seemed real agitated right before she went missing. Can't say I blame her. Finally! Did no one hear me yelling? No offense, Chilmu, but you yelling isn't that unusual. You all right? Gao? I told you to... No, I'm not all right. Jin Li attacked me. The quiet, polite guy? Well, you're working everyone to the bone. Maybe he's stressed. He bit me! Oh. Oh, no! He's back! Keep him away from me! Jin Lee, it's Yao. You remember me, don't you? Man, don't make me do this. Thank you for doing that. I didn't have the heart to do it myself. Was that really Jin Lee? He was acting like a monster. But if any part of him is still him, I don't know what to say. This place puts everyone on edge. They go down there to mine, and if they come back, they're all rebellious. If? Maybe you should, I don't know, be looking for them? I try. Look, if you're gonna criticize me, run home to Jill. That why you're really here? To spy? Gods, you're paranoid. You said things were out of hand, which checks out. I'm staying to search for the crew. Don't go down! You won't listen anyway. Do whatever you want, but don't say I didn't warn you. You're in a tough position. I get that. But the longer you sit back and wait, the more people will wind up like Jin Lee. I know how much you care about your crew. But if you don't act now, you won't have any crew left to care about. Commander, if you want to scope out more of the area, I'll meet you later in the lower mines. Chulmu, these people have been nothing but brave for you. It's time to return the favor. Grant me your strength, my friend. Hey, Commander, look who's up. Morning, sunshine. Can't a guy take a lunch nap without the law hovering around? We're investigating reports of odd occurrences around here. Seen anything? Reports, huh? So, guess you'd already know about the walls. Humor me. You know, they've been... talking. The farther you get down the mine, the more they say. <gasps> what? What? Hold on. This guy's full of it. We shouldn't discount any detail yet. We're still in the info-gathering phase. Wanna be a detective? 
Gotta learn to weed out the liars. But look me in the eyes. Now tell me about the talking walls. Well, um, they... They say you ask too many questions. <laughs> Eye contact, shifty posture. Can't even buy his own script without laughing. The body does betray a lot through nervous system responses. Hmm, fascinating. <laughs> he took a swing at you? What did you say to him this time? Took a swing? Yeah, with his pickaxe. I didn't say anything, I swear. Look, dent in my armor. Jiang saved me. She knocked him on his ass. Where is he now? Still down there. I don't know. He wasn't gonna stop. We didn't want to kill him, so we ran away. Watch your step around Zhou Lu. Something's got him worked up. What else is new, sir? He can be pretty testy sometimes. This is different. He's... Cranky? Grumpy? Grouchy, sir? Uh, more like... Quarrelsome, cantankerous, irascible? You're as annoying as Cho Mu. It says I can put you on outhouse detail. Hi, Commander. Roman and I spoke with more brotherhood, and we may have a lead. A suspicious haze propagating in the mine. This haze looks similar to the void. There's a lot of it around here. Can you scan some samples? Uh, apparently it's making workers ill. I suspect it's correlated with this unusual behavior. I can. You're sure the lead's credible? As far as I can tell, their stories check out. Plus, playing the law card helped. What they don't know won't hurt them. But be careful. If true, the haze is likely harmful in large quantities. I'd scan from smaller hotspots if possible. Mount up and bust through. Make us a shortcut. Commander! Signs of labored breathing. Running into trouble? Risking death? Everything okay? I'm getting a lot of static. Terrible. Cutting out. Our... Awful down here. Call you back. That was mildly concerning. Guess I'll see if they call again. Gorik, checking in. You're avoiding large haze clouds, right? Don't need you swallowed by a haze blob, even for science. Are you two all right? Your last call was... How many more will die? <sighs> what? I said we're fine. Your breathing sounds a bit fast. Don't push yourself. Cutting out again. Let's try... <laughs> There's no way. No. J just distortion. Finally found Haya. All they're out in chains, laughing or crying. Couldn't see her face. He shoved a helmet on her. Backward. What the? Why? Said she was a traitor. Turned on her crew. Uh, okay, but why the backward helmet? Tried to chew her way out. I'm. I'm gonna be sick.
them all. Loud and clear. Just scanned your last sample. Uh, much appreciated. Your reading suggests this haze is composed primarily of raw magic, very similar to void. However... The samples contain an extra element not found in unfiltered magic. I'll run further analysis. In the meantime, let's all regroup in the lower mines. Oh, and if you see any jade on your way, could you test it for a haze reaction? I'll look into it. Kill them all! If I have time. I have a theory, but without data, it can only remain poison. Energy reading is off the charts. The deeper we go... Can you speed it up? We don't start heading up soon. We're both gonna be dead. Back up? No, we need to continue downward. I suspect the reading's down there. You wanna go deeper? You're on your own. Seems like when your readings are high, so's the chance I'm gonna get killed. Cholmo put me in charge, not you. You will follow my orders. Well, he ain't here, is he? I'm not taking another step down this cave. Any progress on the jade experiments? I tested a few jade blocks. Their color darkened after contact with the haze. Hmm. That would suggest the secondary element imprinted itself on the base. We're on to something here. That's... nice. Hey, have you heard anything, or anyone, odd during our calls? You... always seeing monsters where there are none. I haven't noticed anything, but it's possible a Brotherhood comm is causing interference. Once you're here, what... I... I have to go. Oh, you made it! Further research awaits, Commander. Shall we? Still so many questions... We already neutralized the Void, or in confirmed it, yet there's obvious disequilibrium here. I'll try to get more out of Chilmu about this haze once we're done. Would he even know anything? You said yourself, he's been hiding at camp while this crew goes berserk. Look, he really screwed up, but he's not what you think. Huh. A criminal, a coward? Well, so far he's proving both.
The way ahead's blocked. Come on, Finn, let's check it out. I need some air anyway. <laughs> You're not getting it down here, that's for sure. It looks pretty solid, but I bet we can find some spots to break through. Finn, switch to inspect mode, please. But of course. Now activating inspect. Commander, you know your way around a mech drone. Care to do the honors? Your mech seems more agreeable now. A little tune-up and Finn's back to his old self after deprogramming some... learned behaviors. Look, Chol Mu's not the easiest guy to vouch for, but you've seen him at his best. Dragon's End? That's the real him. He gave me a chance when the world acted like I was invisible. Before June, the Brotherhood was my only home. Right now, he's losing control, and he knows it. I'm worried he can't get it back. But if I can help, I will. I want to. Objective complete. Was this result to your satisfaction? You did fantastic, Finn. Thank you. <laughs> All right, people, let's move. Um, just so you're aware, a haze levels are likely to rise the farther we go. If you feel faint at any point, it... You'll be the first to know, shall we? Demons! Ambush! Ahead! Hit them! Strike them apart. No wonder our signal is shot. Say, Commander, you mentioned something over comms. A voice? Yeah. You were right. Just interference. Ah. Although... Your lack of eye contact is a tad concerning. Oh, nice catch. Demons. Does Cho Moon know? He didn't mention. More reason to be careful than you place faith in. Kill them all! Look, just because your mentor. Finish that sentence. I dare you. the Brotherhood mine this deep. <sighs> Commander, you all right? Feels like I got the wind knocked out of me. Wait, 
Is that? What is it? A ley line. An unparalleled source of raw magic. Pure energy. This must be why the Proximate Jade is so powerful. It could be monumental in solving Kanta's energy predicament. Interesting. And what's this? Oh, fascinating. I need a closer look. Finn. Can you get us across? Activating. Gap traversal device. Executing. Execute process. Is this what's messing with the Brotherhood? Working near a power source this strong? Unlikely. The simple exposure to ley line energy generally isn't enough to affect one's well-being. Though something is unusual here, I've never seen a ley line produce any kind of miasmic byproduct. Oni! Careful! Strength of the pack! There's more than one? It must be deceiving our senses, blurring reality. We have to stay focused! Everyone take a platform and divert its attention! Commander, I could use your help here! Rama, come with me. I'll give you a lift. You should be a little kinder to lost, broken things. Buster! Oh, I check. We heal as one. want you over on their platform. They need backup. I know what you're trying to do. It won't work. Commander, we'll talk later, I we promise. Yao needs you now, okay? Uh, huh? Yao. Yes, right. Sorry, Yao. Got out of sorts for a moment. Stop! Commander? You all right? Oh, hang These in there people with me. love you. You don't care. You know that's not true. We heal as one.
Kill them all! Never wanted to hurt them. Air. Finn, shield Rama, quick! Defense engaged. The Rama has been shielded. Uh, thank you. Commander, the Rama could really use you over here. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Let's apologize for more help. Sick of you. See them too? Yeah, we're fighting them. What are you talking about? More than enough. I'm just. We need to talk. So many lives lost. There was no other way. I was nothing to you. You'll be the end of the Tsar! That's not fair. I did everything I could. Almora! you were born to do. Hey, you're up. Do you know who we are? Look at me closely, Commander. Concentrate. Who am I? Take your time. You were extremely discombob... I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine... Uh... I'm fine, Gorik. Oh, thank the alchemy. You had us worried. You were talking to us like we were... Well... Not us. Like... old friends. Yes. That demon, it was messing with my head. Made me think you were someone else. Yes. I should have known as soon as it introduced those clones. It appears to be able to alter its victim's reality. I've been trying to reach you since Yao dropped everything and ran into that... hole. June is... <laughs> she's... Furious, I know. But we're making important discoveries down in this hole. And if I have to upset June to save... June will not be upset when she hears what we found. A ley line. That's what's been supercharging the Jade. Well, uh, that's... that's fantastic! A potentially free-flowing Jade-based energy source. It's... it's too good to be... There's an unkillable, mind-altering demon gorging on it. Oh. Don't worry. We'll eliminate it. Or at least lure it away from the ley line. And what's your plan of attack this time, General Gorik? I'm afraid it's going to be unpleasant, especially for the commander. I wish there was another way, but that demon seemed particularly attracted to you. Fighting it will require neuroparasitological investigation. 
If that's what it takes. Sorry, Commander. Yao's right. It is important work. I'll fill June in. Keep us posted if you can, and good luck. What's next? No apology necessary. That creature tried to latch onto a powerful memory to see what emotions it could provoke. Although it seemed to me that first memory wasn't enough, that you dealt with those, uh, metaphorical demons before. Yes, the demons seem to latch onto increasingly raw and more recent memories, feeding on your response. And I'm afraid we're going to have to use that to our advantage if we're ever going to completely defeat it. Maybe you haven't completely dealt with all of your feelings, or perhaps the haze somehow lowers our ability to cope, or it enhances our sensitivity to emotions. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to experiment to find out. I thought I was ready, but as Rama has helped me understand, it's harder than it appears. I have a new appreciation for you, to be sure. I'm starting to wonder whether his high degree of intuition can be taught. But I'm doing my best to take his advice and watch how he works. So I hear. Sounds like she was a hell of a soldier. And a good friend. Yao's mech came through. Technically, Yao built the mech, so... Finn is pretty great. <laughs> okay. Okay. A lot of folks say they want to help, but only show up when it serves them. But Yao's good people. And Finn. Got off to a shaky start, but took charge when the chips were down. Made good decisions. Hey, he's learning from the best. Much as I've learned to trust Yao's judgment, not sure I'll ever come around on this. But Yao has their reasons. I get it. Yao, Chilmu, June. They're like a dysfunctional little family. Not sure if Yao's the kid or... The marriage counselor? Maybe. But you start asking me about my love life, and I'm gonna return the favor. Don't think you're ready for that, pal. It's okay. Gorik told me about Air, how much she meant to you and to your whole crew. Her bravery in the fight against Mordremoth, the way she was betrayed, I'm sorry. June's not a charitable person. But deep down, I think she knows I'm loyal, though maybe that's part of the problem. I would never betray June's trust, but just because I stopped working for Chul Mu doesn't mean I cut off all ties. Like June, he can be tough, and it's no stretch to say he hasn't been at his best down here. But he didn't get where he is by being incompetent, and he truly cares about his people. Anyway, if June knows me as well as I think she does, she'll get it. She might not like it, but she'll understand. Kantha, this discovery could do so much for so many people. And if I can help some old friends along the way, even better. 